Hi everyone, Miss Nina. Happy first Friday for Felt Stories. It is November and today the flannel that I'd like to share for you is turkeys. <laughs> Just for this season we have a turkey flannel kit for you. Inside our flannel kit there is a copy um, of the rhyme or the flannel story that we're going to share today. Today is Turkey Wore His Rainbow Feathers and I will show you right here so you get a copy of the flannel rhyme. You also get a pattern. The pattern is here's the feather. Oh, <laughs> here's the turkey. Here's the feather. Silly Miss Nina. And this is on cardstock, so it'll be nice and sturdy pattern for you. If you cut it out and then put it on top of the felt pieces, which we've included for you. Here we have these wonderful rectangle pieces that will be for your feathers. And um, the bigger, almost square, but it's still a rectangle. That one is also uh, for your turkey body. There's a pair of Google or wiggly eyes that you can use for eyes. And then I used the scraps left over for another, uh, for the rest of the body. And I will show you right now. Let's see. Here is my turkey body. As I said, there's a pair of Google eyes in there. Uh, they would be considered a chokeable if you're working with um, toddlers so um, or really young preschool under three and a half. So if you just want to use stickers or other pieces of felt, you can. Um, if you feel safe with the Google Eyes, I've, I've glued them on. I have from the scraps left over from my, uh, after cutting out the feathers, I just need some feet. And his face. He still needs a beak. And again, from a little scrap, I use this little piece here. Does anybody know what that's called? That's right, it's a waddle. There we go. Now, he looks a little naked. He looks like he needs some feathers on. So we're going to do a rhyme or a flannel story about feathers. We're going to tap. I'm going to tap down here on my legs. You can tap up here if you want. It's to the tune of Mary wore her red dress. It goes like this. Turkey wore his red feather, red feather, red feather. Turkey wore his red feathers all day long. And then you put the red feather. Oh. Turkey wore his orange feather, orange feather, orange feather. Turkey wore his orange feather all day long. pattern are we making? Does anybody know? Let's try yellow. Turkey wore his yellow feather, yellow feather, yellow feather. Turkey wore his yellow feather all day long. Oop, there's yellow. And I'm going to just pop that a little bit behind his head so that we can still see his face. And as I said, because it's felt, <laughs> it does just so if you have to adjust a little bit, it's fine. Here we go. Turkey wore his green feather, green feather, green feather. Turkey wore his green feather all day long. Turkey wore his blue feather, blue feather, blue feather. Turkey wore his blue feather all day long. One more. Can anybody predict what it is? You're right, it's purple. Turkey wore his purple feather, purple feather, purple feather. Turkey wore his purple feather all day long. Oh, turkey is so beautiful. That's a rainbow, isn't it? Here we go. Turkey wore his rainbow feathers, rainbow feathers, rainbow feathers. Turkey wore his rainbow feathers all day long. Yay! And that is how you can do and share your turkey rainbow feathers. If you'd like, um, you can call out the color 
and have the child pick it out for you and see if they can um, detect and know their colors if you're just doing it one-on-one -on -one at home. Um, if you're in a classroom and you're practicing social distancing, you'll probably just want to put them up yourselves so we don't have the um, communal touching. But if you're a parent just wanting to do this at home, you can call out the feather and let your child pick it and then you can certainly put it up or, or they can put it up. Um, we always try to go from left to right just for an educational booster tip. Um, children learn to read print from left to right. So those are just some helpful things that you can do um, to share in going left to right for early literacy or calling out the color and letting the child pick it out before you put it up on the flannel. A rhyme that will just be another fun thing to do if you would like that would go with your turkey flannel would be Turkey is a funny fellow. His head goes wobble wobble but all he ever seems to say is gobble 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 We'll do it one more time. Turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wibble wobble but all he ever seems to say is gobble 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 and a lot of children like pretending to have the waddle and say gobble gobble gobble. Um, I'd like to recommend, of course, a couple of my favorite books for this time of year. Um, the first one is Turkey Trouble. This is by Wendy Silvano. She is the author. It's illustrated by Lee Harper. This is such a funny book. You can spy on the cover there's a turkey. He looks like he thinks he's in trouble. You're right. He's in trouble because he thinks he's Thanksgiving dinner. So he comes up with all these clever costumes to trick Farmer Jake so that he won't find him to be Thanksgiving dinner. I wonder if all the costumes will work and if Farmer Jake won't be able to find him. Here's a, here's a page for you to look at where Turkey's trying to be a horse. Looks like he tried to brush onto him to be a main. <laughs> this is such a silly book. It's wonderful right after Halloween to talk about costumes or make-believe or imagination and all the different ways that Turkey has solutions for different things he can try to get out of his trouble, out of his prediction uh, for being Thanksgiving dinner. This, of course, um, this is Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. The story and pictures are by Dave Pilkey. This is another favorite with many young friends. Um, Dave Pilkey writes Captain Underpants. Um, very, very funny, funny um, author and illustrator. All the children are the heroes in this story. They also find a way to save the turkeys from being Thanksgiving dinner. And they have a very creative solution for what they'll eat instead of turkey and Thanksgiving. The last book that I'd love to share with you is called Around the Table That Granddad Built. And this story uh, is written by Melanie Heiser Hill. It's illustrated, as you can see here, by Jamie Kim. This book um, is inspired by the house that Jack built. It's a cumulative tale, so where it starts, it scaffolds all the way up uh, with repetitive phrasing and then comes all the way back to the beginning, a circular story. And this story has a wonderful um, illustrations and honoring of families that all families are different and all families are beautiful. Here's a wonderful picture of everybody intergenerational and all the family around the table for Thanksgiving. Look at all of those pies. <gasps> What's your favorite pie? Pumpkin? Apple? Turkey pie? I like turkey pot pie. <laughs> um, so uh, here's a wonder, another wonderful picture of all the different foods that they can make and share at the table together. So thank you so much for joining me for First Friday Flannel. As this month was turkey, um, the kits will be downstairs for you on a first come, first serve basis. We look forward to seeing you next month for gingerbread men. I have one of my favorite flannels that I love to share. We get to act out and pretend to cover ourselves with all different kinds of frosting. It will be a lot of fun. Happy holidays. <laughs>